just need one more glance And girl, I hate this feeling But it's not going away I think I'm in love with you And I can't help myself Cause this may be the only chance Hey Rebels, welcome back to another video and starting off I will go ahead and sculpt out my eyebrows using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color 10. Um, this is a new way I started doing my eyebrows. I've seen, uh, her name is Makeup by Tiffany. i seen her do her eyebrows like that and I thought it was pretty cool so I decided to do my eyebrows like this and I really like it. So this is my new way of doing my eyebrows, basically just putting concealer on first and then filling them in. Okay, so for the first eyeshadow, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Prism palette and I'm going to take the color Saturn, which is this like burnt orange color, and I'm going to go ahead and use that as my transitioning color. So you guys know it is the fall, so we're going to hop into these fall makeup tutorials and I thought this or la la la. <laughs> I thought this orange will be perfect for the fall time because you know, like it's fall and Halloween is almost here too, so Next I'm going into my Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to pick up the color Henna and I really like this color because it's like the perfect brown. It's like it's like a smooth brown if that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm going to apply that to my transitioning color as well. Mainly towards my crease, not really above my crease too much, just to darken up the crease area, make it look a little bit more smoky. Next, I'm going to go in using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color tan. I'm going to go ahead and carve out my cut crease. So I learned this new like trick with doing my cut crease. You want to go ahead and put the concealer on your lid and then you want to look up to see like where your crease should be cut because like, I don't know, I, I, I like it. That's the way I like doing my cut creases now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and carve that out and fill it in with concealer. Next, I'm going into my Anastasia Subculture palette, and I'm going to pick up the color called New Wave, because, like, it's a new wave. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like this color, because it's, like, it's a cute orange. It reminds me of, like, a pumpkin orange, like, a cute Halloween pumpkin orange. I don't know. I really like this color, and I like the name of it, New Wave. Like, I'm on a new wave, B. Like, duh. Going back into the subculture palette, I'm going to pick up the color Edge, which is this like mustard yellow. And this is like, I feel like all the colors I've been using are like perfect fall time colors because this is like not that bright summer orange yellow, but it's like that cute fall yellow, you know? <laughs> and I'm going to apply that to my lid. Next, I'm going to pick up my Stila Glitter Eyeshadow, Liquid Eyeshadow. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but it's called Kitten Karma. And I'm going to go ahead and take a it's like an artistic brush. I got this from the art store and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my cut crease line because like What's a makeup tutorial without glitter? Like I don't know. I really love glitter like <laughs> Glitter is like I feel like nothing's complete without glitter. Duh So yeah, I'm going to use that and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the line of the Cut crease now I'm going to go into my snazzaru palette, which is a paint palette and I'm going to go ahead and do a cat eye using that black paint. Um, the reason why I'm using this to do my cat eye is because I lost my liquid eyeliner. And I was so stressed because I was looking for it. And I'm like, where the hell is my liquid eyeliner? Like, I tore my whole house apart looking for it. So I couldn't find it, so I had to improvise. <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to be doing this for a while because I, I kind of like the way it came out. I thought it was pretty cool. So, yeah, I had to use paint to do my cat eye. <laughs> Going back into the Stila Kitten Karma Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and take that same artistic brush and I'm going to go ahead and up make a line under the cat eye, if I'm saying that right. I don't know if I'm like describing it right, but you guys see what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and connect it with the top of the cat eye. Next, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Chocolate, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. Oh, and another thing that I, like, did with my brows, too, I stopped putting concealer on the top of my brows, because I feel like it just looks more natural when you don't put the concealer on top. I mean, I'm not knocking nobody who does do it, but to me, I feel like it looks, it looks more cute. Next, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay, uh, I don't know what's the name of that mascara, but <laughs> I'm going to take some mascara. It doesn't have to be the same exact one I'm using, but I'm going to go ahead and take some mascara and apply that to my eyelashes. 
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these eyelashes. I got these eyelashes off of eBay. I get all my eyelashes off of eBay because like they're way cheaper on eBay. You can get like a five pack for a dollar and they're like really, really cute. So yeah. Now I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape. I said Tarte Shape Tape. My Tarte Poreless Clean Slate Foundation Primer and I'm gonna apply that to my face and rub it in because we're getting ready to apply our foundation. Next, I'm going to go in with the NARS Long Wear Natural Radiant Concealer. Not concealer. Why am I mixing words up today? Foundation. And I'm using the color Moria, which is medium 2.3. Next, I'm going to take this stippling brush, and I'm going to spray some MAC Fix Plus on it. And I'm going to go ahead and blend out my foundation. And as I was blending out my foundation, I was like, uh, I don't really feel like this fits my skin color. Because this was my summertime foundation, and like... It's pretty much winter now, so yeah. But I made it work, y'all see. Yeah, just just watch. We we gonna make something shake, baby. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Nars Radiant Creamy Concealer and the color Biscuit. And I'm going to highlight the main points of my face, which is under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. Oh, and you guys, I know this is like, I feel like this is like weird that I'm saying, not weird, but like shitty. Um, I kind of lost the footage of me contouring my face, so we're going to skip, con we're not going to skip contouring today, but yeah, I lost that footage. I don't know what happened to it, so you guys won't be able to see me contouring this video, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But, yeah, so instead of, yeah, we're just going to skip over contouring and we're going to hop right into highlight after we blend out our concealer. And as you can see, I'm using a dome brush to blend out my concealer. I don't know why I never used this brush before. Like, I've had this brush for years and I've never used it for anything. And it's like the perfect brush for blending out concealer. I don't know. Because, like, for the longest, I was using, like, beauty blenders and beauty sponges. And I'm just kind of like, let me just start venturing off into brushes more. And bruh, when I say this brush is the gold, it's the more effing gold, like. To set my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder, and I'm going to apply that where I put my concealer under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose my forehead and my chin so like i said before i usually contour after i apply my concealer but like i said the footage got lost i don't know what happened to my footage i need to like check up on my camera to make sure my camera's okay <laughs> so now we're gonna hop into the highlight and we're gonna take the becca champagne pop by jacqueline hill and we're gonna highlight our face i really like this one because it has the champagne bottle on it and i think it was limited edition i'm not sure but I just really like it because it has like the champagne bottle on it and it's called Champagne Pop and it has like all the like bubbles around it. I know it's it works the same as the regular one that doesn't have the champagne bottle on it but at the same time it's just like it's cute though so. Going in with this chocolate lip gloss that's from Anastasia. I don't know the name of it because like it was floating around in my pocketbook and the name got scratched off on the bottom. But it's just like a regular brown cute chocolate lip gloss. So yeah. And now I'm going to take some MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spray my face to set my foundation and concealer and basically my whole face into place. And yeah you guys this is the finished look. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Become a supporter, be a part of the Rebel Gang, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, Rebels.